This is the new ignition model from DinoJet Research. This particular unit is intended to be used with the Power Commander 5. On the PC5, we have our map switch input. This allows two maps to be used, and on this particular bike, we have it wired in to our high beam switch. As this bike is a track-only bike, therefore we don't need this for normal operation. Then we have our quick shifter input. We have our speed input. Speed input is used to calculate gear position, and with gear position, we can have a separate fuel map for every gear if needed. Then we have our temperature input. This allows us to offset our fuel tables based off of engine temperature. And then we have our crank data, which passes the crank data from one module to the other module. This will only be connected if you are using RevExtend. On the ignition module, then we have another map switch input, and this is used for our pit lane speed limiter. On this particular bike, we have it wired in to our horn button. So when you activate the horn button, it will only allow this particular setup to go 50 miles an hour. You can set that to anything you want, but if you only want to go 50, if you're going down pit lane, you hit that, it will not go above 50 miles an hour. Once you're out of pit lane, you release it and you'll have full power back. Then on the ignition module, we have one more wire. This is wired into our clutch switch, meaning up here at the handlebar, most bikes have a two pin connector and you'll connect that to the grounding side of that. And we can set this RPM to anything we want. So during a start, let's say you want it to only rev to 6,000 RPMs, you pull the clutch in, you rev it as much throttle as you want, will only rev to 6,000 RPMs. As soon as you release the clutch, it'll go full RPM. And then the last wire, of course, is the white wire that we talked about for the crank data.